Yo, what's up, guys? Jersey Sane here. I'm a professional American football player playing overseas in Spain, and I'm going to talk to you guys about what the biggest culture shocks as an American from Texas is living here in Spain. Number one, biggest culture shock. The concept of time in Spain is completely different. Lunch is around 1, 2 p.m., which for me, that, that's actually usually when I eat. But dinner is around like 10, 11 p.m. That's when I'm eating dinner around here. Usually I go to sleep at around 11, 11 30, 12 p.m. But here I can't sleep until about 2 a.m., 3 a.m. And I'm not trying to. It's just, it's just how it is. Everything just moves later and later and later. For example, when you go out in America, clubs close at around 2, 2.30. Here, that's when they start going to the clubs in Spain. They start pre-gaming at like 11 all the way till about two then they start going to the clubs and they party all the way until seven eight nine ten a.m which is absolutely freaking insane like so for me that i went out with my teammates and i was like god ah, 5 a.m i had to go and that was way too late for me i was just like i can't do this y'all crazy i don't know how y'all do this because they party hard they party late and they're still up the next day. That's one of the biggest things living in Spain that I had to get used to is the concept of time. I don't really go out much, but when I do with my teammates, you know, after a win, or after playing hard, or just to just to be be with them and spend time with them, the whole concept of time is just crazy. So I've learned that living here in Spain is it has been it's been a little wild. Another one is walking everywhere. I'm used to walking everywhere in the States because that's just how I am. I like walking to the gym, whether it's an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, when I lived in Fort Lauderdale, I used to walk three and a half hours to the gym. Just I've always been that type of person. So walking everywhere is, is fine. If maybe you're not used to walking everywhere, bring some good walking shoes because you're going to get some shin splints. You got to walk uphill, downhill. Everything's hilly. Everything's an incline. You got to walk 25, 30 minutes. The good thing is that everything is close. So like 10 minute walk, you'll get to where you want to get to. 15 minute, 20 minute, 25. I can walk from here all the way to the coast in about 20, 25 minutes. I'll walk about 15 to the gym. It's really not that bad compared to in Kansas, walking an hour, 10 minutes to the gym or in Fort Lauderdale, walking three and a half hours to the gym. I mean, just things like that is is different here. I've never seen so many people active, whether it's kids, whether it's people running, older people running. I've never seen so many people active here in Spain or in Europe versus America. And I've heard about it. I've seen videos about it, but I've never seen it in person. I go to the track and there's so many kids running, so many kids in track clubs. It's, it's crazy. I go to the grocery store and no matter what, even if people in which a lot of people have canes or like crutches and they have different crutches. Have you ever seen South Park? They have the Jimmy crutches that, that kind of go here and they, you know, me, when I had ACL surgery, I had the crutches that were here and they hurt. Everyone's got the Jimmy crutches. And I've seen old ladies carrying grocery bags, crutching up inclines. No matter what, people are walking. No matter what, people are being active and they don't have an excuse. In America, everyone has an excuse to not be active. Thankfully, nowadays, it's kind of a trend and a fad to actually go to the gym and be more active. But here, it's like a lifestyle. It's not for social media. It's not for anything like that. Like here, people actually need to walk everywhere they would rather walk somewhere than drive somewhere a lot of people don't have cars because everything's so close it's it's better to walk transportation here is the bus it's super cheap you can use blah blah car which is super cheap to go further places it's been crazy just no like noticing an older woman and i want to help her but she's just like powering crutching up this freaking incline that i'm having trouble like <laughs> sore going up because of practice or a game it's something really cool to see is how people are active here in Europe and in Spain and it, it, it's I love it I love how active people are here another thing with walking is that dogs are huge here in Spain so you're gonna see a lot of dogs anywhere at, at, at the mall at the supermarket walking in restaurants literally you're gonna see dogs everywhere and with that there's gonna be dog shit everywhere so the first like week here I didn't see any dog crap on the, the sidewalk but now it's like all i see is dog doo-doo everywhere and i just gotta i gotta dodge it or i love dogs but if you're not a dog person you're gonna see dogs everywhere in spain and they're gonna be everywhere in restaurants and like i said supermarkets i don't know if i've seen one in the gym but talking about the gym another thing going to the gym everyone uses a towel or some type of cover to put on top of everything which is weird because in the states we kind of did that when, when the whole vid thing was happening and 
really stop that but everyone here puts something over like the bench or where they're sitting or where they're laying you have to carry your own towel i use my sweatshirt i mean you have to carry something around to put it over your stuff another thing that i should have probably mentioned first if you don't talk spanish especially in northern spain which is the region that has the least amount of english speakers it's going to be very hard to communicate because a lot of people do not speak English. Luckily, I'm Mexican, so puedo hablar español si, si necesito, pero well, <laughs> I can speak Spanish if I need to. Here in, in Spain, I've spoken more Spanish than probably I've ever spoken back in South Texas, even though I'm the border in Mexico. I was a little Mexican child who couldn't speak English until I was like five. I use a lot of my Spanish here. I understand everything with all my teammates and then I'll speak to them in Spanish but back home we speak a lot of Spanglish so I'll speak a lot of Spanglish and I'll teach them English so it's it's a good time but definitely if you don't know any Spanish it's going to be hard to communicate at least know the basic words to be able to get food ask for food ask for something like a necessity that you need another big thing is food here is so much cheaper for the most part, I mean, there's little things like tortillas that are just so expensive for no reason. All the major things that I eat are all super cheap, which is great. And it's also very healthy compared to the U.S. It doesn't have really conservatives. It's, it's not all steroided up. It's not, it doesn't have all these things in it that make it unhealthy for you. So a lot of stuff here in Europe and in Spain and just this whole country in general is very, very healthy for you. And a lot of it's homegrown farm grown and the farms around Asturias and Gijón but that being said it's very healthy I've lost like five pounds just eating the same stuff I eat rice chicken meat eggs I mean all the same stuff oatmeal cereal the difference is that it's a lot healthier for you and so I've, I've lost some weight another thing that I've noticed is people aren't very confrontational here let's say they're mad at you or they get pissed at you at the road or something like that like for some reason they're mad at you They'll scream at you, they'll point their finger at you and, and cuss you out in Spanish. But it won't be like in America where you go to someone like, what's up? And like, you know, have some confrontation. They they, they will avoid confrontation at, at all times. They'll, they'll drive off. It's just all word. It's all talk. So it's all bark, no bite, which is great. I mean, there's no point in like arguing with anyone about something dumb or getting a fight over something dumb, especially if you're an American or, or someone foreign coming into a foreign country. You don't want to get in trouble for something really dumb i've seen a lot of talking a lot of arguing but that's that's as far as it gets i mean it, it, it's pretty funny when i see it happen as a foreigner you really don't want to get into any of that because just know they're not going to be confrontational and if you are confrontational because of your upbringing or just because like you get really heated they're going to see it as an aggressive act and then they're just going to see it as something weird as it is they see us americans kind of on the crazy side which I can kind of see with the whole culture that they grew up with and seeing how they are and their mentality with everything, how they go about life. Yeah, Americans are, are pretty crazy in, in the sense of how we live life, how flashy our mentality, our mindset with different things. You know, we're very like out there when it comes to all that stuff. And here everyone can be pretty reserved, really calm. They just want simple stuff, simple life little things like that i mean for from what i have been able to see and talking to people here spaniards here teammates coaches just kind of getting to know the culture and the people here one thing i absolutely love about Gijón and asturias in general the sea is 20 minutes one way and then the mountains are an hour the other way so it's the closest that mountains are to a sea and it's absolutely beautiful being able to see the the coast and the beach and then turning around and seeing the mountains and the peaks just it's it's so pretty it's so pretty i absolutely love it i, I don't get tired of it spain is gorgeous so i absolutely love the views of spain and i've traveled a little bit you know looking around so it's also beautiful i, I absolutely love it because I'm, I'm a big nature person so I, I love being outside and looking outside and looking at all the beautiful stuff so yeah guys off the top of my head that's the biggest culture shocks here in spain nightlife dog doo-doo the gym, because I'm a big gym person, people, you know, will kind of look at you a little weird, especially if you don't speak Spanish, they won't understand anything. I've tried speaking to some people at the gym, just straight English, seeing if it, how it is, and they don't understand anything, which is crazy to me. But then, obviously, there's Americans here that don't speak any Spanish, and it's the same way. So, it's, it, it's hilarious. So, know a little bit of Spanish, learn a little bit of Spanish before coming to live in Spain or visit Spain. Food is healthier, food is great, food is amazing. Absolutely love it, the views are amazing. So just some things to consider when coming to España. 
but I absolutely love it here, guys. Like I said, I play American football. I'm a professional football player. Just finished playing college, so going from Kansas to Spain, where the weather is pretty much the same, which is kind of crazy. Like, the weather from Kansas and Spain is, and or northern Spain is literally the same thing. It's sporadic. It's, like, cold and then hot and then rainy and then, you know, it, it, absolutely crazy. Windy. Same thing like Kansas. So, for me, I was already ready for the transition. Let me know down below what y'all think and what you guys would be most nervous for, most excited for, what you guys are kind of looking forward to if you're ever going to go to Spain or you're ever coming to Spain. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Stay tuned for more Spain videos, football videos, anything having to do with just traveling and living my life. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Thank you.